All right, folks, gonna do a little video on deleting um, a unnecessary solenoid that is in your protective control box on the uh, 939 series trucks. Um, this will work with 800 series trucks um, as well if you have the updated, if you put a 939 series box on it. 800 series boxes are all different. Um, I, have a, I can cover that in a different video. Um, but basically what we're looking at here is a diagram of the uh, how the control box works where the wires go yada yada this where the red is going to that is the bottom solenoid okay and the, and the control box got a control box right here some look like this because yeah water gets in water can't get out um but what we're going to do is we're going to delete the top control uh solenoid because you really don't need it um if you want to leave it in there for a protection thing, it's one thing that can, that's just more things that can fail. Um, I have an upgraded gear reduction starter. Um, so really don't need a starting solenoid when the, uh, when the, uh, truck has a decent one on it. Um, all it does is fail. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this wire here, this wire here, which is just a power wire that goes across, um, goes to the starter. But we're going to get rid of it hook it directly into the dashboard and that's pretty much pretty simple i mean there's not much to it um of course you got a power diode that lets power go across and that's it um it's just simple as can be you don't need this upper solenoid you can leave it in, there in case you need a spare one what i normally would do is i actually will remove all this replace them both it was my own box i I put the second uh, second one up here in case i needed it i can pull the box off swap the bolts out i have another solenoid ready to go but basically, all you're going to do is, we'll look at the diagram here in a second, you're going to get rid of this one, tape it up, cut this wire, tape it up. Actually, you can leave this wire here alone. It's not going to have power unless the, the cylinder comes on. And you're going to delete this little jumper wire that goes to here. So looking at the uh, computer here, you can see when you hit your switch. Okay, right now you're off. No power. You get power. Your battery is going to your switch. Turn it on. That powers up C and A. Um... 5081 come is actually a wire that comes from the starter up to the control box the small wire on the starter lug a goes of course goes to the dashboard um which in the thing is a will be I'll show it to you in the bottom of your connector you got letters on it so you get a b c d so a is this one right here in the upper right so a is going to be right here coming in that is your signal when the key comes on the tail of the um it sends the power to the switch from this when it's kicked on so basically what you're going to do is we're looking down here to get rid of this it actually goes through your neutral safety so when you hit, you know, say you want to start the truck, right now it's off. You turn it to run. You're going to have power going to your anti light brakes, which is what you want. Hit start. Neutral safety's got to have power, have power going through it. Neutral safety engages. There's power back through E. E, which is this green wire here going to this solenoid, which receives its power from here, from the bottom solenoid source. And then basically when that hits power, it jumps it across to this, which then sends it out on... 74 to the starter solenoid well i mean i say it's a starter solenoid but you don't need two solenoids to tell it to turn on um especially with modern technology no big deal so then all you will do is down on your uh, starter uh, we'll add that video here in a little about um you actually there's a wire for your starter signal wire just make you a new eyelet run it through the dashboard run it up to your uh to your uh, switch Plug it in with a male connector and you're rocking and rolling. You bypass the control box for that. So the only thing, you know, if you have a, if you have a problem with your control box, if it, if it, if it, sometimes they will cycle on and this solenoid here is fine. It won't start because this solenoid here is bad, which is preventing it. All right. So, I mean, one thing is you can get rid of two, you know, you get rid of one problem. These, you know, you great. I use AC Delco solenoids and they still have problems. I can use, I can use, Cole Harsey on it and they will still have problems. So I figured though if I can if I can delete, you know, one of them, um, 
The thing is, the bottom solenoid in the control box, the one, uh, the actually the upper solenoid, is on uh, a Cole Harsey unit. Uh, on the ones that came in, came in the box, sorry, is actually a intermittent duty solenoid. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, but I rather have someone that can work all the time and not instead of intermittently. Um, granted, it's only for starting, but we can get rid of that. So. Uh, when I replace the, what I do with the control box rebuilds, I put in two continuous duty cycle solenoids. So it, you do have a better solenoid that, you know, when it's intermittent, yeah, okay, it can handle so much power. But I mean, intermittently can handle power, not all the time. So just do that. But this is a little elite for the uh, starter solenoid in the control box. I mean, it's, it's as simple as it can be. Remove the wires. You will have to tape the green wire up here in the control box because it will have power coming through it so you can cut it and just tape it off liquid liquid tape whatever you want to do this wire here you can just leave loose with any power this uh right here i just remove the jumper wire i mean because i mean in the worst case scenario you got to swap the cylinders around if they're bolted in because these this lower wire won't reach unless you wanted to put a jumper i mean you could do that if you want to you actually could put a jumper from here to here and that way both cylinders would power up together you actually could delete the neutral safety out of the whole system which is what this here is but eh, I'd rather keep an extra solenoid on the box because I need one. But that is a uh, solenoid delete for um, the uh, 939 series for the starter solenoid. So you can get rid of one of these things. Um, there is a different kind of control box out there now. I'll get I'll post it up. Um, that has a chipboard in it. Find that. Throw that so much away. Throw the chipboard away. Cut it out. Put a different one in it. Put two cylinders in it. Bolt them down. This the this, this, this chipboard is beyond crap. This is the chipboard unit. You can see it. I mean, it's it's nothing but a chipboard, but they do have their issues and things do break. Has diodes in it. Just throw it away. I just get rid of it. Hook it all up. And in real in reality, though, in the normal control box, all the diodes and stuff. All the diodes and whatnot in here, that diode there, there's a diode here that goes down to ground. There's a diode right here that goes down. There's only one ground right there on that solenoid. The solenoid here grounds itself. So, I mean, I don't know why you really need... Uh, actually, this solenoid here would be a ground. This is actually is a diode in this one, sorry. It has a diode in it, but it's not... This one here is for 600 and something volts, so... Really don't need it it's just fucking the batteries up backwards if you do that you're an idiot anyway um so but that's how you do it simple enough um gets rid of a solenoid in case of fa failure but your starter solenoid is more reliable than these things in here